today I'm going to show you how to make your own iPhone ringtones using Audacity and iTunes. Now if you don't have both of these programs already, just download them. The links will be in the description. If you haven't done this, first you need to go up to Audacity and you need to install the libraries. To do this, you go to Edit, go down to Preferences, then go to Libraries. Then you need to click here to download the FFmpeg library. This is what enables you to save it in the format we need. It will take you to this site and you just click this link right here and then download and install the it's, well, library and then when that's done just close your preferences and then go to iTunes. Now you want to select the song you want to be your ringtone. Click on it, then right click on it. Show in, for me it's Windows Explorer, for you it might be different. It'll take you to where the song is stored. Then you want to drag and drop it into Audacity. Let it copy. This is where you select the 30 seconds or so that you want to be your ringtone. So just grab a few seconds, then you go up to Edit, Copy, File, New, Edit, Paste. This is what will be your ringtone when we're finished. From here you want to go to File, then Export. As you can see I've already done this, but you want to save it as what you want your ringtone titled. And then you click Save. This is if you want to fill out the song information, which I don't really need to. So just click OK, and then wait for it to export. Then you go to wherever you save the ringtone. For me, it's in a ringtones folder in my music. Let me get there. And I have the extension shown. If you don't, what you need to do is you need to go to Windows, Control Panel, Folder Options, then go to View, and this box will be checked. It says Hide Extensions for Known File Types. Just uncheck that, click Apply, and then we're done. Now you can go back to where it is and it will have your file extensions. Now we want this as an M4R, so just click on it, change the title, go to M4R, I have to, well, click Yes, then I have to replace, and then that's your ringtone. Just double click to open, and it shows up as a ringtone in your iTunes library. Congratulations, you've now made your own iPhone ringtone.